now we will see one of the application of refraction that is nothing but total internal reflection what is this concept we are saying that it is an application of refraction but here we are getting a term called reflection how this refraction and reflection are connecting together are connected together listen we can say that light is traveling from denser to rarer or rarer to denser whatever may be the path is possible for such an angle of incidence the angle of refraction will become 90 degrees that means suppose this is the glass medium this is the angle of incidence I draw a normal and for at this point refraction takes place bending takes place but this is the angle of incidence there is one angle of incidence for this angle of incidence angle of refraction will become 90 degrees that means the light which is refracted or the light ray which is refracted will completely merge with the normal when it is merged with the normal then we can say the light will travel by like this means uh, internally within the medium the total light going to be reflected for such an angle of incidence the angle of refraction is becoming 90 degrees that angle is called critical angle for such an angle of incidence the angle of refraction becomes 90 degrees that angle is called critical angle the angle is called critical angle mostly when uh, the incident angle is more than the critical angle then this uh, total internal reflection takes place suppose what is Snell's law n1 sin i is equal to n2 sin r and from this we can write sin i by sin r is equal to n2 by n1 n2 by n1 we can say it as n21 refractive index of second medium with respect to first medium and sine if i becoming ic what is this ic critical angle or critical angle of incidence suppose if i is ic then what we can say sin r means sin 90 we know that sin 90 is 1 therefore n21 is equal to sin ic n12 is equal to 1 by n21 that's why it is 1 by sin ic so from this we can write ic is equal to sin inverse of n21 So this is a basic introduction about the total internal reflection. Now we will try to visualize how this uh, angle changes. If I am changing the angle of incidence from denser to rarer, what is the change in the angle of refraction and at which angle of incidence the total internal reflection takes place and what are the examples we can see in the case of total internal reflection in our daily life. So this is an, one of the important theoretical question so with respect to all of these matters. Now we are trying to visualizing the concept of total internal reflection. Let us suppose one light ray is traveling from denser medium to rarer medium. This is denser medium. This is rarer medium. light the incident light from the denser medium onto the surface of uh, the top surface of the denser medium by making an angle of incidence is this much so 
in case of total internal reflection we should consider two cases automatically refraction takes place as well as some of the light partially reflects back to the medium again this point we should understand so some part will partially reflected back and some part will refract and I am drawing the normal here this is angle I this is angle R here I is angle of incidence here I is angle of refraction now one more angle we tried with another angle so like this some light partially reflects and some light refracts again draw a normal here it is angle of incidence and here it is angle of refraction or to eliminate the confusion we can write i dash r dash now at which angle the total internal reflection takes place more than the critical angle of incidence so that's why this is the critical angle let us draw and completely it merges with the normal this is angle of incidence and the angle which is greater than I see there you can observe the total internal reflection so one more angle we will try here no refraction takes place the whole light internally reflects back normal we can draw the normal so what we can understand this is one angle of incidence small refraction takes place and partial light reflected this is one more angle of incidence refraction takes place partially some light is reflected this is critical angle we can write IC there the refraction don't take place it completely merges with the normal because angle of refraction is becoming 90 degrees more than critical angle total internal reflection takes place so we should encourage this one with the arrow marks like this total internal reflection takes place that means while you are varying the angle try to observe that at which angle of incidence the totally light is reflecting into the medium this is called total internal reflection so this is possible when light is traveling from rarer to denser also now we will see the different values of total critical angle for different media which has referred to indices now we will see the critical angle of some denser media with respect to air. The first example is uh, we can write uh, water. So I am writing medium. N value. I see critical angle. Water. The refractive index of water is 1.33 but what is the critical angle of water 48.75 degrees and second medium we can write a crown glass so what is the crown glass its refractive index is 1.52 and its a critical angle is 41.14 degrees third one a denser flint glass its refractive index is approximately 1.62 and uh, critical angle is 37.31 degrees so one more example which was given in the textbook is uh, diamond so this diamond has the refractive index 2.42 
critical angle 24.41 degrees. If you observe the table, if refractive index is increasing, critical angle is decreasing. So, refractive index is inversely proportional to critical angle or IC is inversely proportional to refractive index. Now, if this type of arrangement is not possible, now we will see uh, what are the natural ways to demonstrate the total internal reflection. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.